Our list was embarrassing. I completely forgot those purples up over there. So let's go ahead and get those purples up over there. And it was really simple to get these two. <laughs> <laughs> you just do that shell move, and yeah, you get those coins, and whoops, and you're done here. You can go all the way back to the Odyssey. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Nine coins unaccounted for, just probably in groups of three, three more times somewhere around there, but eh, it's just, we'll be back here later. <laughs> I say that of all, all the kingdoms because it's true. We're going for 100% eventually. Somehow, some way, we'll get it. And sure enough, I had more than 10 moons. Look at that. <laughs> and next kingdom, we've only got one choice this time: the Luncheon Kingdom. Remember, we were here before when we were through that painting. Yeah, yeah. We can now play this. Like, in its entirety, for the most part. <laughs> you know, there's still post-game stuff and whatnot, you know. And just... But details! Details. <laughs> just, as I said before, don't worry about being too super thorough. I mean, you can always go back and get anything later. You know, there's always the hint toad near the start of the level. And dialogue begins. So, Bowser Bowser wants to make a toast using the champagne sparkle water? Sounds like his wedding preparations are moving along. Man, Mario let him get away. Seeing as how he got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Travel tip, cap jump! Hold down. Actually, I, I taught this, but come to think of it, I don't think the game at taught this until now. Hold down Y after throwing, your cap will spin in place for a little while. But run into the cap and you'll take a big bounce off it. That holding in place thing doesn't really work when you're doing those mid-air cap jump thingies. But details! Well, there it is. We should eat up on the Luncheon Kingdom next. It says here this country is famous for using a volcano to prepare a dish called Pot Stupendous Stew. Okay, it's Stupendous Stew, Stupendous Stew. <laughs> and... We land after this transition. Now, that pink stuff, it looks like some sort of gooey candy mixture, but it's actually lava. I know, I know, it doesn't... <laughs> it doesn't make much sense in, in terms of how lava actually is lava, but... So the Brutals are after some cooking. My goodness, they're here! The... 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 Brutals! <laughs> Gave all the names of them at once. Man, man, why would you do that? Just say the Brutals. <laughs> So you're gonna notice right off the bat there's some tomato shaped purple coins that seem a little little out of your reach. Eee, eee, eee. Yeah, you can't can't exactly get those very easily now, can ya? Can ya? Well you can actually, sorta kinda. Well, I mean I I would be able to get them with dying, but I mean with like you normally have to get a certain have to get a certain thing to actually pull off getting these without dying. But, well, you'll you'll see when we get into that in just a second here. <laughs> I'm just messing around. I've got so many coins. It's like, eh, eh. I was only really concerned about the coins early on, you know, when I was trying to collect a bunch of stuff, but we're kind of we're kind of past that point here. <laughs> I got some Chef Goombas hanging out around here. Some jelly beans that you can knock around here and maybe get a prize for them. Yeah, I guess we could stack up Goombas. Because why not? They're, just, they're Goombas. They'll have a good time if we stack them. Well, unless maybe they're controlled by Mario. Who knows how they feel? Who knows? Whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> I don't think I actually need to stack them now. Uh, I could probably just lava it up along the way. And Oh, and Magmatos, these guys are new. What they do is they just, like, dissolve themselves into a pile of magma. Well, well... After I give him a little knocking around here. <laughs> yeah, like that. Oh no, the Goombas! <laughs> My work grabbing the Goombas was for naught. Well, I can always grab a stack later. Anyway, there's a some corn in the lava here. Dang it, get out of my way. Dang it. There's some corn in the lava. You can roll it like logs. <laughs> 
And this is where I was supposed to bring the Goombas. Ah, ah I say. <laughs> but for now, I guess I'm gonna have to wait for those Goombas to respawn. So I'm gonna grab this lava bubble, and we are off. Why the dash, B to jump, and that's pretty much all you've got. You can shake the Joy-Con to go a little fast to do some fancy moves. When you hit land, you automatically turn into regular Mario. And, oh man, boss already? What the poop? That was quick. Maybe the Kumbas will respawn after this. Oh boy. Stewart's got something to say. Oh, we stole a whole boatload of this place. It's stupendous too. Stupendous too. But the boss is wedding chow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just messing out with the dialogue there. But I'm gonna head back up to the volcano to finish off that stew after I'm done with you. And I think I just called him Stewart, but he's Spewer, dang it. <laughs> Alright, imitation boom boom. It is on! Oh, oh yeah, was that one health? <laughs> I can't do, can't do reckless stuff when I'm at one health. <laughs> oh, they put me back! Oh man! Oh man! Well, you know what? You know what? Oh, actually... I want to just knock the hat off. Ah, oh, fine, I'll go to Spewart again. <laughs> so I was gonna say I could do the... the Goombas now, but no, 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 it's, it's good. I just, ah, ah! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Boink, 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 let's go. Yes, 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 skip, skip, skip. <laughs> Alright, reckless move is a go! Oh, whatever. <laughs> and then it's UFO time. His attack pattern is not really much more dangerous, as you can tell here. Yeah, it's just... In fact, it's probably easier because it's wider. Yeah! <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Well, that's close enough. Alright, there we go. And boom, boom, goes again. It's just so simple to attack him, like, right away. Just like boom, boom, or... Right after an attack pattern, just like Boom Boom. <laughs> and I'll just wait for it. Oh, just knock, knock off his hat and knock him around again. Yeah. Uh, it's just he does that spin attack with the goo, and it's like, ah, eh, why do I even bother? It's too easy. <laughs> well, like, unless you're at one health and you're playing more recklessly than than you can afford to, I guess. The Brutals are after some, cooking is over already. <laughs> and yes, that moon that I got before is the one that I got way, 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 way up near the very beginning uh, when I first came here through that painting. Yeah. Well, not really up at the beginning, but I guess technically that was uh, the beginning. It was up like over... That was the island right up there. Yeah, it's it's got all wavy line heat ma marks and whatnot, but you can see it's there. <laughs> okay, let's let's try the Goomba thing again here. Because for some weird... Don't grab onto that. For, so <laughs> for some weird reason, I'm having great difficulties with something that should be a lot easier than... I, I don't know why I even did that jump, but... <laughs> I don't know, it's like my reactions are just poop. Alright. Jump safely, and now we gotta do the corn. The corn is probably the most difficult part of this, because the, the Goombas are slow, and eh, they gotta jump, which helps a little bit to keep under control, but it's easier, you know, in just in regular Mario form. Oh, I'm so impressed by your corn rolling skills! Here's a moon for you! <laughs> and lava up lava. Voila, completed. Yeah, oink, boink, boink. And I can now go across. And, wait, actually, can I? I think I can actually. Yeah, I'll take it through here. Yeah, this was how you were supposed to get those uh, purple coins there before, but, well, well, you're actually supposed to take this around through here. Hey, there's a way through here. I know, I know. I'm showing secrets so early. That's because it's kind of like in divided areas and stuff like that. I'll just go up here first of all to, uh, whoops, uh, 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 just want to hit some stuff around here to see. And I think there's actually a couple of blocks up, yep, just as I thought. And yeah, if you want to get those purple coins, just take 
a lava bubble up through there. See that? See that? Yeah, it's pretty simple. As a matter of fact, I'll show you the proper way of doing it for kicks. So we're just gonna go. It's pretty simple. <laughs> And yeah, so you don't have to actually jump in the lava like I did before. Yeah. <laughs> you just go ahead, grab that potobu, and get a move it. Oh! Well, that was a terrible, terrible long jump. <laughs> I just, it's just like when I run down my health messing around. And then, yeah, things happen when I get reckless and forget about my current health levels. <laughs> Alright, you turn into lava, I will go around, and I'll show you the upper portion of this later on when I can get over to the other side, because it's a little bit easier to show it that way than going up uh, this side here. See this here? Yeah, when I went down, when I went to get those purples before, I'd say it's actually easier to just, or I should say quicker, just go around this way, and then, yeah, flop on through here and then jump into that little alcove using a half jump or something like that, because th there you are, right there. See that? Yeah, it's pretty easy to get here that way, so, but yeah, otherwise, I, there's no real point to getting up over there without, I mean, getting up through there that way, since you gotta go up through here anyway, so I thought, eh, let's just divide and conquer this a little bit and tackle it thusly. Timer challenge one is done. And I guess I can roll on down over to whoa, 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 to the other side. Piles of sugar, or maybe it's salt. For I'm not sure. They're kind of kind of blocking my way here. <laughs> well, in terms of blocking my rolls, I should say. Uh, there's another one of those metal blocks of Mysterioso up there. But well, again, can't do anything about those right now. Hey, wasn't there something like if you ground pound one of these stacks of Salt sugar, I don't know. Mm, it's sweet and salty. Wait, maybe it was here. Oh, well, there's this. That's that's nice, but I thought there was some... Okay, it's, it is salt, okay. <laughs> or maybe it, some piles are salt and others are sugar. Who knows? But yeah, I thought that there was some... Some dealios going on where... Uh, that you had to ground pound something. Anyway, I want to get over here next. And hit this just just because. <laughs> Actually, I want to get this lava bubble here because there's another opening through the wall somewhere around here. I forgot exactly where. Uh, oh, maybe it wasn't here. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I can't hop up through here if I wanted to. Yeah, I guess there is there is no dealio there, but there is, I guess. Lurking in the pillar shadow moon over here, but that's not the one I was going for. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I'll consider this completed for now then, and continue on through the regular pathway since I got that decently cleared out, including the Goombas. <laughs> Wish there was a checkpoint here, but details. I think there's actually a checkpoint up up there. Uh, where we're gonna meet the main residents. As a matter of fact, this is one of the residents right here. See, it's this fork. It's got eyes. You can't talk to it. But they're called the Volbones or something like that. V O L B O N A N S. I believe it's spelled or something like that. Yeah, because it's a volcano place and they are. And yeah, see, volcano up there. So, hence the part of the Vol. But the bone ends, I'm not sure about. <laughs> hey, welcome to Mount Volmoto! Home to the hugest flavors anywhere! Well, I guess Volbono and then Volbone. I guess that's the part. Oh, I, well, I guess. I, I was being stupid. <laughs> I know, I know. I'd show you around, but uh, things are kind of on fire right now. What? <laughs> this, well, it's a cooking kingdom, that's not... Too unusual, I suppose. Anyway, checkpoint. Oh, by the oh, I, I was gonna show you that bird. The birds around here look like dollops of whipped cream or something. Can I actually get like a? That's a decent. Oh, I'm holding it like I'm punching the TV again. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think those might be the birds. Anyway, <laughs> that bird up there showed up out of nowhere and took over a stupid. This we were making more of our special stupendous stupendous stew too! Everyone was getting ready to dig in. Oh man. 
Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, I think those are the birds that I was thinking of. It looks like like their tail is the dollop or the tippy dollop of the whipped cream. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna try and get up up over here just because cans, cans, cans! And then I'll go in here. <laughs> Guess what we're doing in here? It's five this time! <laughs> oh jeez. Alright. I believe this is the last one in the game, actually. Oh boy. It's Heart Moon. Well, regular Heart Moon. Ready? Steady. Throw. Remember, don't trigger the other ones. Like I did the other time. Learn from my mistake. And yes, you can hit two at once if you get them, like, in a angle like that. I didn't really show that before, but it's kind of risky to do that. Anyway. Focus. Focus. Yes. One more. For victory. Yeah! See, these really just aren't hard at all. I just completely messed that up once you on Kingdom Slots. Heck yeah! Way to play! It'll be ten more coins. Out of power moons. You don't get my coins then. <laughs> Anything inside your potted plants? Anything inside your oxygen tanks? No, I know it's helium. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess they're good. Oh, the cans are back! <laughs> eh? Can must kick can! Eh. Oh jeez, they're kinda kinda out of my way. Cans must not go unkicked. Eh. Eh. By the way, this is like petrified fruit and vegetables and stuff like that around these parts. Eh. Eh. Uh -uh. Yeah. Eh. 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 Uh, yeah! Okay, I'm happy now. So go behind here. And behind the big old turnip pumpkin tomato structure. These are all like... I, 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 I guess they're maybe edibles, but they never use them, <laughs> I guess you could say. Uh, so you got also this to look around and, you know, that is our boss that we are going up to. That we are going up to. And I keep putting my... <laughs> that's the cockatiel. We, I, I keep putting my hands up to the screen like I'm punching them. I, I, I swear I'll, I will never get that down through the entire course of this walkthrough for some reason. <laughs> uh oh. The meat, the meat, the bird's gonna get it. Oh no! Oh no! We've gotta save the meats. The meats have gotta be saved somehow. Uh, I think there's something on top of these pillars, but I'll save that for a little bit later. Oh, I just kicked. Oh, I didn't mean to kick that in there, and I was going to show you a little bit later. If you put stuff in there, you'll get rewards. Cans! Purple coin. I think I just kicked the can in there. <laughs> well, that'll do. That'll do. Ah, yeah, you find any turnips? Blop them right in my suit! Gold ones, too! Oh, yeah, especially those goldies! There's three gold turnips, I think, around here, and uh, they equate to moons, so be on the lookout for those. See that seven meat? Sure you do, but that bird has it. Not yet! Don't know what he's waiting for! You see the doll? That bird's gonna make off with our meat! I bet you anything he does! And they are in a panic over that stupendous stew. I mean, the mountains used to be a piece of cake, but the path up its sewer is, is curled to pieces! There's no way up there now! Not unless you can sprout wings or hit your ride with a flappy type! Hmm, a flappy type, huh? A flappy type, huh? I believe you want me to wear, be wearing the cook's outfit, don't you? This here is a place where chefs come just to cook. No matter how you slice it, you're not. And yes, I'll go behind the buildings in a second here. I'm just gonna go ahead and I think it's I think it's purple coin exclusive actually, but at the very least, I'm gonna buy the regular moon. Oh, new stuff! Ooh, clown hat and clown suit. But first, power moon. <laughs> of course, of course. I'm probably never gonna buy the life up. I mean, my health up thingy. I just like. Why? Why would you even need to? And there's always one behind the like before a boss or something anyway. So I guess I could. I guess maybe I could change over to the clown suits. Sure, why not? Um, all right, and finally the rough and tumble clown suits. And thank you, thank you. I shall and yell. Save the cook's uniform. Yeah. <laughs> We are ready to adventure! I'll save the cook's thing for later, later on. I got more purples, because I don't have enough for it, I think, right? Well, maybe I do right now. Well, well, ah, I'll leave it, I'll leave it. It'll, uh, we'll get, I mean, they're right next to each other. It doesn't much matter. So there's something shiny over here in this top box. Oink. 
guess what it is. <laughs> and... Oh, I, how did I fall off that? Yes, I see Cat Mario over there. I might as well hit that as long as I'm here. Yeah, there we go. Grab these as long as I'm here. Can! 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 I can't hit the can! <laughs> Alright, going up to... The blue moon! You're not slacking off, but you left the moon in that crate. No one who is slacking off, I mean, no one who's not slacking off would leave a moon in the crate. No one! No one! I'm gonna go up here, triple jump for the can, yes! Actually, I think I'm uh, pretty much fresh out of stuff along this area here, except for this golden turn up in the middle, baby! <laughs> Remember, you were supposed to throw him in the pot? Let's cook it up! And get a moon! Yeah! <laughs> I could throw those other turnips in the pot as well, but they're not the same as the golden turnips. You just grab the regular white turnip, you will be disappointed. It's just coins. If I recall correctly, yeah, it's just a couple of them. Alas, alas, I'll even do the last one to prove it to you once and for all! I don't, I don't know why I said once and for all, but... <laughs> okay, that was a little bit more coins, I guess. <laughs> but still coins, can! Kick those before, but still can! And, yeah, our favorite hint bird is hanging out over here, but... Eh, 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 yeah, we're good. Okay, what do you have to say about our future path? Oh, no, I, I already talked to you about that, okay. Well... Well, there's still a bunch to go to get to that meat, as you can see there. I cleared out town decently well. I do think there is stuff on top of those pillars, as I said, but I don't know if it's right now or if it's post-game or something like that, but, well, but for now, I'm just gonna end off the part here. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I explore this place some more. And I guess what I kicked down here before was indeed, yeah, the little bean. It wasn't a can, it was a bean. But I also kicked a can into it from down there, later on, but not the first thing.